Rancho Palos Verdes, founded 40 years ago, is the peninsula's youngest city. It is paradise, as I keep saying. You know, we live in paradise. What's not to love in RPV? You know, you have uh, uh, the coastline, the beaches, the trails, the preserve the school system, the neighborhoods, the people. RPV's story is exciting. Long ago, Tongva Indians, Spanish explorers, cattle ranchers, and farmers lived off the land. A promised land sought out by New York investor Frank Vanderlip. Vanderlip bought the entire peninsula, sight unseen, a hundred years ago. And he came out here in a private railroad car with his family to, to see it. And they basically took a, a car and they came over the top of the hill and there was nothing out here, and it was just absolutely beautiful. By 1957, there were three peninsula cities, when a peninsula-wide movement began to form a fourth. Residents feared massive development in the unincorporated area controlled by L.A. County, and they wanted local control. We had to raise the consciousness of a lot of people. My role was to um, get the news into the newspapers uh, as frequently as we possibly could so that we could uh, let everybody know what was happening at the county level. The League of Women Voters, the PV Peninsula Advisory Council, and the group Save Our Coastline joined forces. Rolling Hills Mayor Fred Hess, activists Dorothy LeConte, and Gordon Curtis led the 10-year battle with the county. People were very determined. Everybody, Barbara and Betty talk about the excitement. I really think about the determination of everybody. A state Supreme Court ruling finally paved the way for a cityhood election. And on September 7th, 1973, RPV officially incorporated and the first city council was sworn in. They elected five of us on a city council. Myself, Marilyn Ryan, Bob Ryan, no relation, uh, Gunther Burke, and Dave Sisko Ruth. I think the biggest challenge for the first city council was keeping faith with the electorate. It, over 80% of the community voted in favor of incorporation. This is unheard of for a uh, new city. In our general plan, we have a low density city, and I think that is the key to keeping the founder's dream alive. I very, very much rely on the relationships that I've got with some of the original founders to help me steer uh, uh, what we do today on the council. Preserving the founder's dream continues, a landscape protected for generations to come. The celebration of, of preserving a quality of life. Uh, and I think that's something that many people, many communities are fighting to struggle to hold on to. Uh, we have such a strong sense of community in my neighborhood and I think throughout the city. I'm really honored and we are really blessed to be here in Rancho Palos Verdes.